A massive drop in temperature provided central Texans with a taste of winter on Thursday. Well, I soaked up yesterday because I knew that today was coming. Though it didn't keep Danielle Donhauser from running her outdoor workout class. I have a workout um, underneath the hangar over here, so we'll get warm for an hour and then uh, we'll get home. And while it was nothing comparable to the heavy snow and ice we saw in February, it was a good reminder of what could come. And on Wednesday, city leaders released an update on how they've been preparing. Back in November, they came up with 132 recommendations, then choosing 32 to prioritize. Of those, five have been completed and 12 are in progress. Wednesday's memo highlighted some of the specific action that has been taken. That includes an improved cold weather sheltering plan for the homeless and a new emergency alert system for those who are deaf or blind. In the event of a storm, public works crews will be equipped to prioritize removing snow from critical streets like those leading to fire stations or hospitals. And the combined transportation emergency and communication center is now storing four days of food and water and can be used as a Wi-Fi and cell phone site. Some, however, hoping this year we won't need all these measures. You know, I like change in weather, so I think it's exciting for like a day. Um, and then once it goes past a day, it gets frustrating.